Hi, is Karen here. Welcome to another day in our 24 days of tags for 2020. Here I'm going to show you how I created this cute little tag. All of these stamps come from Lavinia Stamps. He's little Pippin. I've got a stencil in the background. So we'll get started. The first thing I'm going to do is use squeezed lemonade, distress oxides to create that background. So I'm not being too careful here. Just want a piece of copy paper. I'm not being too careful how I ink up the background because we've got several layers to go on top of it. And this squeezed lemonade goes on beautifully. There we go. So very rough, very quick. The next thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take one of the very beautiful new stencils from Lavinia Stamps. Look at it. This one's called Elegance. And I just thought that this looked really like a woodland scene. So I'm going to pop that over my tag. And then I'm going to grab what am I going to grab I'm going to grab peeled paint this is distress oxide peel paint I'm going to ink up my sponge and I'm just going to put that stencil around the edges that way again we're sort of creating this woodland look we don't want it to come too close to the center because we want to as I say, create this little woodland. You could tape your stencil down, but there we go. I don't think we need to. Now we're going to do the stamping. And for this, we're going to use the forest mushroom set and the meadow mushroom set. You get two in each of those sets and I'm also going to use VersaFine Clear Shady Lane and VersaFine Clear and Acorn and I'm going to alternate between these two stamps to create this wooded effect of mushrooms at the bottom. first generation, second generation. Then I'm going to grab the, this one's called forest mushroom. And I'm going to set this one slightly lower than that one. That's where Pippin is going to sit. Look, he's going to sit on top of that so that one needs to be slightly higher than the others and then I'm going to take the smaller one in that set it's so cute isn't it and again as I say I'm alternating between shady lane and the acorn color and I'm actually not cleaning my stamp off between the two it's okay if we get a bit of a browny green or a greeny brown. And then I'm going to go to the meadow mushroom, which is the straight one. And I'm going to put a few of those at the bottom. This is not quite your typical Christmas tag, really. But I know there's lots of people that have got birthdays around this time of the year and this might work well for them. There we go. I'm quite happy with that stamping now. Then I'm going to, no, then I'm going to take my Pippin.
and I'm going to make sure that he's well inked. Lots of taps there because being the solid image I want a nice solid version of him and I'm just going to put him on top of that mushroom looking upwards. So he's looking at all this Spanish moss hanging down. And for that again I'm using Shady Lane to... So the first one I'm going to do is just in front of his little nose. And then we position each other one after that. That just gives us the starting point. The sides of the, sh of the moss, I'm going to let it hang down further. There we go. So I'm just going to give that a blast with a heat gun and I'll be back. So I gave it a blast with a heat gun because I'm going to go and blend all the way around the edge and I didn't want anything to smudge. For that I'm going to use brushed corduroy. It's a lovely brown, light brown sort of and I'm just going to use my smoothie for this one. There we go. And now we're going to put some white paint splatters on, the fun bit. As always, you can use a Posca pen if you prefer. Oh, not too heavy handed there. There we go. Let's just get rid of this white here. And then last but not least, I'm going to use the cherry red to create the berries hanging down from the Spanish moss. I'm not being too careful here. I'm just being really random. And there we have our gorgeous little Pippin sitting on his mushrooms looking down at the red berries. So thanks for watching. I love to see what you make. Until the next time. Thank you. Bye.